so I'm gonna go to my pictures here and take a look and do some comparisons as you can see uh, let's see get a good one here ah. uh, this Pantera has this Pantera here has uh, really kind of rough really flared attached fender flares and they of course are riveted to the body this is a race car I really like this look it's rough kinda of looks like a Trans Am which was one of my first cars now uh, so I want that look but as you can see here uh, this one is really because of Blender's ability to smooth the body real well and smooth the joints and surfaces as you can see we don't have that but that's not a problem I'm going to show you a little trick here once we get it aligned to help us achieve this look okay first off we need to go in and take a look at this and align all the points from a distance looks pretty good and with subsurf probably wouldn't make a whole lot of difference but like I said I believe a little bit of effort here will pay off a whole lot more in the future so I'm just gonna place these as close to the center line as possible. Most of them up here look like they're doing pretty good. Okay, very good. Down just a bit. This one here really needs to come in. Alright. Not an incredible amount of adjustment, but enough. And again, hit that shift key for micro adjustments. Gonna take a better look at it here to see how we're. Hmm. Well, we're starting to go a little bit on the outside there which really for most practical purposes doesn't is not an unforgivable offense but as I said perfection Let's look at the inside. We need some work here. All right. And things can look like they're really on the level and then you look real closer at another angle and not even close micro adjustment
Okay. Just a little more here. Okay. Down just a bit. And there we go. Now, what I want to show you is a very unique, excuse me, very unique method of doing this. Actually, it's not all that unique, but it's my unique method. Select the vertices, all of them, going around the wheel well on the inside. So you grab them all. Now, you hit V on your keyboard and tab it. You can't really see it as well from here, but when we go in, let's see what happened here. Uh oh, only half of them got it. Why did that? Okay. One of the blender's little quirks. Okay, whoops. And there, click off. Now, okay, there we go. And as you can see, our fender flare is big and bold now, whereas now that's really more of the look that I'm going for there. As you can see the one in front, it's very, very uh, smooth, conforms to the rest of the fender, and there were a lot of the later designed Panteras that followed this design, but I like the old style, the really rough, rough style. So, my mosquito friend is back, hold on, I'm going to see if I can kill him. Yeah, he'll come back. All right, now at this point, what I want to do is start working with this fender and getting it looking how we want it to look at the very end. Dead. Okay. Well, hopefully he's the last one. There seem to be a lot of mosquitoes in my house tonight. All right, they're making it very difficult to concentrate and do these tutorials. All right, now, as we can see, we roughed this in, and here's what we are left with. So, at this point, what can I do? Well, here, let's see, let's turn on the edges and polygons to get a little better look. Okay, we need to conform this fender both along the X, Y, and Z axis to the actual extents that it's going to be when we begin uh, putting the final touches on the car. So, I'm working now within only one plane, so I can just move these around. Just going to kind of move them around. And shape it a little bit. And see where we're what we're left with. We might have to do some different adjustments. Just kind of sighting them in. Yeah, I've got a little anomaly there and I don't like it. So, But again, we have to adjust it from the x-axis, which might take care of that. Or we might have to subdivide it further. I don't know. We'll have to look. Okay, let's go back up here. This is a mess right here. So we're going to work first off on getting this to where we want it. So I'm going to work primarily in back out over here so we can see this if we need to select some points. Good. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and let's see. I'm going to grab this point here. Okay, that corresponds to right there. I'm going to move it in to where it's very close to this point. 
and I'm just going to keep going down the line here constraining it to the x-axis and moving it in where I think it should be Oops. Okay. I want to match it close with the edge of the rear engine cover see where we're going. Okay, I don't. I don't see that point highlighted here. Where is it? I may have picked up a point on the front. Okay. Let's see. This one. What are Next one. Gotta keep a close eye out on just where everything's going because you can sometimes accidentally grab vertices on the front of the car and that creates a whole new slew of problems. really starting to mesh well there. Alright, now the very last one. That's it for there. Okay, and then it goes down. Alright, now up here, we're going to grab this one, bring it in where it needs to be. Okay, now these pieces here have to come in as well, quite a ways. We're just going to kind of follow the lay of the picture with regards to the hood and model it accordingly. Alright, now, where is that one? starting to look a little more like it should. Um, now these points here, of course, have to be brought out. 